Hello, this is the Mole, letting you know that the Wind in the Islands is brought to you by Glasgow, an art studio and farm in the Thousand Islands. Check them out at glasgow.com. Welcome to another chapter of The Wind in the Islands by Scott Oderkirk. Chapter 3, Domesticated. The mole caught a flurry of wings out of the corner of his eyes and crossed the dooryard of the farm where they were to get some eggs. He flinched as he didn't expect it. A little jumpy, are we? asked the rat with a smirk. That was rude, replied the mole. I didn't mean anything by it, said the rat. Not you, said the mole. I meant that chicken. Pay no mind to them, the rat said, pointing in the direction of the flock. They're domesticated. Domesticated? asked the mole, who clearly hadn't ever heard the word before. Yes, domesticated, explained the rat. They're like partners with the people on the farm. The people keep them safe, change their straw, feed them, and take care of them when they're sick. In exchange, the chickens provide them with manure for the garden and eggs for their breakfast. The rat didn't mention what happens to the chickens when their laying days are over. This in keeping with the animal's unwritten rule of never mentioning when another animal just disappears or comes to an untimely end. Does that include making them rude? asked the mole. That seems to have happened over time, provided the rat. Having everything taken care of for you tends to make the second or third generation quite inept. There's something to be said for having to pull oneself up by your bootstraps. We have experienced the beginning of that, I think, said the mole timidly, looking down at the ground a bit ashamed. You mean the toad? asked the rat. Well, started the mole. You're right. The toad does have some missing gears in his engine, but he means well, said the rat. I've always given him some leeway because he really doesn't know any better. I still hold out hope anyway. You mean for the chickens? asked the mole. No, for the toad, said the rat. The chickens are hopeless. Domesticated, the mole said, shaking his head at the chickens, who stared back at him from the sides of their heads, which jerked about between episodes of scratching at the ground. Yes, said the rat. Domesticated.